for our next news special report. Tonight, a bombshell report that's shaking the White House to its core. A simple radio interview gone horribly wrong, exposing the lengths that Team Biden will go to prop up a failing presidency. But even with spoon-fed questions, our commander-in-chief couldn't keep it together. And now a radio host is out of a job, and the media's finally waking up. You won't believe what Jake Tapper had to say. So stay tuned for the full story and my final thought on why this matters to every American. The clips are jaw-dropping. Now, folks, just like Biden's scripted interview couldn't save him from his embarrassment, relying on a weak dollar won't protect your wealth. Gold soaring past $2,400 an ounce in 2024, and it's not because gold is getting pricey, it's our greenback losing its punch. While the White House feeds softball questions, smart Americans are securing their future with precious metals. Don't wait for the dollar to fumble like our president's words. Call Global Gold Investments at the number on the screen, 888-700-4148 now. Mention Next News for VIP treatment from America's conservative gold dealer. They're offering a five-year IRA fee waiver on qualified rollovers. Protect your wealth today at 888-700-4148 or visit iragoldproof.com. The link is in the description. Now let's dive into how this radio interview fiasco unfolded. Last Wednesday, President Biden sat down for what should have been an easy chat on WURD AM host Andrea Lawful Sanders' show. But even with training wheels, he couldn't stay upright. Take a look at this clip. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman mm -hmm. to serve with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to the all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so much that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. You heard that right. Our president, the leader of the free world, claimed to be the first black woman to serve with a black president. Now, we all know Biden's not exactly sharp as a tack, but this is a new low. And the story doesn't end there. It turns out the White House was pulling strings behind the scenes. Lawful Sanders spilled the beans on CNN, admitting the administration handpicked the questions. Watch. Something, I listened to both of them, and there's something that's similar here. You each were, uh, you asked four questions, and maybe that's what you were allowed to ask by uh, the campaign or the White House. But they were essentially the same questions, both interviews about accomplishments, progress in your respective state, what's at stake in the election, what he has to say about his debate performance, and what he would say to voters who think uh, their vote doesn't matter or might sit this election out. Were those questions given to you by the White House or did you have or the campaign or did you have to submit questions ahead of this interview? The questions were sent to me for approval. I approved of them. OK, so the White House sent the questions to you ahead of the interview. Yes. OK, I, I got several questions, eight yeah. of them, and the four that were chosen were the ones that I approved. OK. And the reason I ask is not a criticism of either view. It's just that if the White House is trying now to prove the um, the vim, vigor, acuity of the president, I don't know how they do that by sending questions first before the interview so that the president knows what's coming. That's right, folks. The White House sent over a list of softballs and lawful Sanders played along. So much for hard hitting journalism. But here's where it gets interesting. Even CNN's Jake Tapper, usually a cheerleader for the left, he couldn't ignore this train wreck. Listen to what he had to say. He's proud to be the, the first black woman. Not coherent. When CNN starts questioning Biden's coherence, you know that we are in trouble. But Tapper wasn't done. He went on to highlight just how badly this PR stunt has backfired. Watch. Before the president did that, he called into a couple of black radio stations where he said, among other things, this. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman mm -hmm. to serve with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so much that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. The he's proud to be the, the first black woman. 
not coherent. And even then, we later found out later from the radio host that the Biden campaign had given her a list of questions to ask President Biden. That is a huge no-no in journalism, and the host was fired for it, but it remains quite telling that in the Biden campaign's efforts to show that the president has not missed a step, his campaign felt the need to feed questions to the hosts for a call-in radio interview. And the president still, even then, failed to deliver in many of his answers. So let's recap. The White House set up a controlled interview with pre-approved questions. Biden still managed to fumble it spectacularly. And now a radio host has lost her job for playing along with the charade. WURD Radio didn't mince words when they showed Lawful Sanders the door. They said that her actions violated our practice of remaining an independent media outlet accountable to our listeners. At least someone still cares about journalistic integrity. This whole debacle raises serious questions about Biden's fitness for office. If he can't handle a friendly chat with pre-screened questions, how can he tackle the real challenges facing our republic? And let's not forget, this is the same man with his finger on the nuclear button. But here's the bigger issue. This incident pulls back the curtain on the cozy relationship between the media and the Biden administration. How many other interviews have been staged? How often are we, the American people, being fed a carefully crafted narrative instead of the truth? If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. This isn't just about Biden's latest gaffe or a radio host losing her job. It's about trust. When the White House feeds questions and the media plays along, they're not just lying to us. They're insulting our intelligence. CNN turning on Biden? <laughs> well, that's the canary in the coal mine, folks. This host's loose lips expose the whole charade. It's a wake-up call for every American. We deserve leaders who can face tough questions, not puppets who need a script. As Thomas Jefferson warned, when the press is free and every man able to read, all is safe. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.